What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in this video we're going to be covering the brand new Kizuna Clash Sugo Fest as well as just the Kizuna unit himself being Magellan and Hannibal. So a bit of a weird turn of events considering you know we had the whole Wano celebration for anniversary moving into the Blackbeard Pirates and really the time skip Blackbeard Pirates which is a little bit different right and Gecko Moria and now we're pivoting back towards Impel Down. So very, very weird theming for events that have been coming out recently, but I'm all for it because Impel Down definitely need more units. I'm okay with this. But it also, you know, begs the question, are we going to be getting an Impel Down themed Sugo Fest towards the end of this month? Because I have a feeling that that is a very good chance of happening, but we'll have to wait and see what actually occurs. But anyways, here we have the Kizuna Sugo Fest, which is going to be debuting June 17th, 1900 PST time. And it comes along with two brand new units, one unit that is a, like a fake dual unit with Mr. 3 and Buggy as one character as well as Inazuma. We'll be covering both of those units in just a moment and June 26th is when it ends. So likely at that point June 26th is when we're getting the brand new batch Sugo Fest. So expect icons and a data download within the next four to five days something like that. So I'm excited to see what, the, what they got planned. But uh, in the Sugo Fest, if you do pull any either of those two brand new units, they come with max special and max sockets, which is fine. And uh, they actually have boosted effects of you know extra tickets, getting stat boost, cooldown reduction, super effective against all types, the pretty typical stuff that we come to know at this point. Um, additionally, the Buggy and the Mr. 3 are actually going to have a buffed Captain ability, so we'll check out these new units in just a moment. Let's have a look at the Sugo Fest structure. So, we have the, um, 1st, 2nd, 6th, 7th, 11th, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18 is a Legend or a Rate Boosted character. The first multi is discounted at 30 Rainbow Gems, which is at least something, um, but those are pretty terrible steps. 3, 10, and 15 are guaranteed recommended units. Now, I don't know exactly who is recommended. I could go ahead and check the subreddit Discord very briefly here. But I believe the recommended units would be nothing too crazy. So, we've got um, Kaido Crew. We've got Legend X Drake. And then we've got the two new units in Buggy, Mr. 3, as well as Inazuma. But also the old treasure map, or Kizuna character, should I say. Onigashima Robin, as well as Komorosaki are also boosted. Komorosaki is a really good rare recruit. So, I mean, there's that. Um, so, the recommended pool, I mean, three multis for one of those is fine, I suppose. Nothing too good, though. You've got 4, 8, and 12 being a guaranteed legend, and then you've got 5 and 20 guaranteeing you one of the brand new characters. 9 and 19 is a Kizuna Clash only units. Um, I mean, it looks like a pretty typical Kizuna Sugo Fest at this point, so it's nothing really too crazy, like nothing here is really wowing me or kind of dragging me in, but let's have a look and see who's actually available. So we've got all the Kizuna units, like this is nothing really new, um, that's pretty typical. And these are the legends that you can actually pull. So you've got the Kizuna legends in Drake, Kaido Crew, and Sanji Pudding. Once again, very strange that Legend Toki is not pullable. I believe she also was not pullable in the previous month's Kizuna Clash Sugo Fest. So that's two in a row where she hasn't been available. Very bizarre. But X Drake, I believe this is like the third one he, he's been available in a row, which is good to see because X Drake is a very good legend. But in terms of the other available legends, you've got Super Tandem Kid, which is great, New Big Mom, as well as Super Class Katakuri Halloween Perona, Smoker, Onami, V2 Zoro. A, a pretty bad array of legends towards the end there, but I mean, Super Tandem Kid, it's awesome that he's available. I hope that his rate is not halved like it would be like on a Treasure Map Sugo Fest, for example. We'll have to wait and see for those people that really want to get him. I mean, just looking at this, honestly, I don't really suggest pulling, especially because I do know what these new units do briefly, and they're not really required, honestly. Um, and considering the legends that are available, there's no Toki, so if you still don't have Toki, I would wait until she's actually available. So at this point here, I can't really suggest to pull here. I just really can't. It just doesn't look good enough. But let's have a look at these two brand new units. What do they actually do? So here we have Mr. 3 Galdino and Buggy. So um, both of these units are quick units, which is kind of interesting. So they're quick and driven cerebral. Yeah, driven cerebral for, for Buggy and Mr. 3. Uh, and their captain ability is a 3.5 captain with a 1.2 health boost and making quick slots beneficial. So it's not like a great captain ability, but they do have the buffed version, which during the Kizuna, they're going to be a 5.25 times captain instead. Everything else is the same, it looks like. Um, yeah, the health boost is slightly above as well. So the, again, the captain ability in the Kizuna, it's buffed, but it's not 
like, you don't need this unit to get through the Kizuna. They are going to be super effective against all types in the Kizuna as well. And then you've got their, um, their special ability, which reduces defense up by 6, reduces despair by 6, and gives you 80% damage reduction for one turn, and gives your Driven and Cerebral a 2 times attack boost. 2 times attack? Yeah, look, 2 times attack boost is not very good, um, but the utility is great. Defense up and despair by 6 is pretty good. The damage reduction is fine. I have read briefly about what this Kizuna does. The damage reduction makes sense. And the two times attack boost is just the worst part. Like, that's not that good. What I would like it to see, instead of that, it should be two times attack boost. But if you already have an attack boost, buff the attack boost by 0.2 instead. That would have been a much better way to build the character, in my opinion. It is what it is, though. Um, in support effects is nothing. That's very disappointing. And, of course, they don't have rumble stats either. Yikes, man. Um, yeah, this unit is, like, just okay. Like, they're not really wowing me at all. A little bit disappointing, honestly. But let's have a look at Inazuma. Now, Inazuma is built to be, like, the crewmate of, uh, of this Kizuna batch. So, you're not really meant to be using Inazuma as the captain. But let's have a look and see what this character has in store. So, quick free spirit cerebral. 3.5 captain. A little bit of recovery and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. 13 turn cooldown. Reduces resilience by 6. Reduces paralysis by 6. Heals the crew by 15 times recovery, changes unfavorable slots to matching, removes poison, and gives you a 3.25 chain lock for one turn. It seems okay. Again, like, it's uh, these characters aren't really wowing me. They just seem pretty average. Like, they're not, they're not, like, the best Kizuna characters ever, nor they really, like, we weren't really expecting them to be the best characters ever, but... They're not really <laughs> warranting people to pull for these units. Um, remember, this is not a super boss Kizuna. This is just a generic, regular Kizuna clash with no super bosses. So you don't have to worry about building multiple sets of teams, right? This seems underwhelming. Both of these characters are not amazing in any sense of the word, um, which is disappointing, unfortunately. Uh, and then Unique makes quick slots beneficial. And yeah, like, it's just, it's not amazing, honestly. Support effect, uh, that, again, is not very good. And no Pyrumble effects either. A little bit of a shame, honestly. Pretty disappointed by these batch of units. I was really expecting a lot more, but yeah, look. Overall, the Suga Fest seems average. The units are average. Um, and then you've got like the legends, which there are good legends available, don't get me wrong, but I think it's just worthwhile to save your rainbow gems for another Sugo Fest that will come out later on down the line, where like another Super Sugo Fest, whenever that comes out. I think it's much better to save for something like that, rather than pull for something like this. And then of course we've got the official announcement of the actual Kizuna Clash itself, and the character that we're going to be farming for is this guy right here, Magellan and Hannibal. Yet again, another Magellan and Hannibal unit. So this character is an int driven striker, not a dual unit, no super type, no super class. So, their captain ability is a 3.75 times captain to Driven and Striker with a 1.2 health boost, and then making Quick and Int beneficial. Um, it's fine, again, like, it's just a free-to-play unit, you can't expect the world from these units, but at the end of the day, 3.75, considering when we have recently released characters that are, like, 4 times plus for free-to-play, um, having a captain ability like this is definitely more underwhelming. 13 turn cooldown though, reduces defense up by 5 turns, reduces the duration of barriers by 1, gives a progressive poison or a, or a toxic effect, and if the captain is driven or striker, reduces attack down by 5 turns and boosts damage dealt against toxic enemies by 2.25 times for 1 turn. Alright, that's pretty good. A free to play self proccing 2.25 times conditional boost, that's pretty good. However, a lot of enemies these days do have some form of poison or toxic immunity. So I don't know how powerful or how useful this is realistically going to be. But if you're able to get it activated, that is very good. As I said, there's not many um, self proc and conditional boosts that can get up to 2.25. That's really strong. And on top of that, you just get utility. Defense up removal, attack down removal, barrier removal as well. He actually seems okay. I'm actually not that mad about that. He seems pretty good. Um, as a crewmate, what have they, what have they got? Uh, driven Striker stats, completely evade paralysis, that's pretty lame actually. Support effect, attaching to Driven. HP and recovery boost, oh man, that's pretty lame. Alright, so we've got the, uh, the Rumble stuff. So, Int teammates get level 5 attack and level 5 health, that's a pretty good passive. And the special is a 26 CT. Medium range horizontal for attack down level 6, speed level 6, 
targets one enemy for level 2 damage over time. Okay, this character's terrible. Do not use this in your Pirate Rumble teams. He's not good. He's just not good in Rumble. But in regular content, I can definitely see a couple of different places where you'd want to use a character like this. It seems pretty interesting. Um, I don't think he's like the best Kizuna unit we've ever had, but he seems pretty decent. I I'm not mad about that at all. Seems all right. It does mention here that the Magellan Hannibal, the actual copies of the units themselves, will be available from box two to six. So it means that uh, you want to be making sure you get all of the copies of the unit so you can get them to max level limit break. So if you do want to get them to level 150, that you can actually do that. So I believe the drops for this character are not, like you, you can't actually drop the unit in the event. You can only get them from the Kizuna exchange so remember make sure to get the copies because you want to make sure you can get him to max level limit break even though you're not you might not want to get him to level 150 I'm not going to get him to level 150 but having that option available in the future is always nice to have right very very important it does also go on to say that the red Orochi Kizuna unit from way back in like what uh, January or February um, is finally going to be available as well as the skulls for v2 doflamingo are going to be now purchasable from the kizuna exchange when it goes live so that's awesome to see i know some people out there really wanted to get those skulls i personally need those skulls for, for dofi because i just devolved mine for the legends of optc series so awesome that they're finally available and then of course they go through the characters that are boosted for this event so the two new rare recruits in inazuma and buggy and galdino but then they've also got a bunch of other miscellaneous units so you've got the law kid and their batch as well as the the Blackbeard, Moria, all of their batch, and also Legend Smoothie is boosted too. And then you've got another round of miscellaneous boosted units, including a lot of Luffy characters. I'm not really too certain why so many Luffy characters are actually boosted, as well as a lot of killers. Well, I guess maybe killers boosted specifically to help out Kid to get his super tandem to activate, probably. Uh, and you've got all the Beppos boosted too, which makes a lot of sense for Law's super tandem effect. So yeah, a lot of different Luffy's available, which is pretty bizarre, but that's pretty much it. So uh, the boosted list for this Kizuna is pretty bad, but also I have had a look at what the Kizuna is going on and like what, the, what are the gimmicks for the fight, and it looks pretty straightforward. So I'll definitely be uploading a video sometime soon talking about, um, you know, recommended teams and what we've got figuring out at the moment. It doesn't go live until June 21st for the actual event itself, so we do have time to prep, which is good. And of course, we do also have a gem sale going live, which gives us um, Kizuna potions and rainbow gems. So if you guys are into that kind of thing, you can go ahead and purchase all of that. But with all that being said, that is going to wrap it up for me. Uh, the Suga Fest just looks pretty, pretty average. It, uh, you don't need to pull on this Suga Fest, honestly. If you've been pulling on recent banners with Kid, Law, Blackbeard, and the Anniversary, you're going to have a lot of good characters available to deal with all of these gimmicks. You, you really won't have to worry about it too much. But that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.